What's going on YouTube? Quick update on the joint head unit. Uh, so I'm at the point of no return. I um, I think that's a warranty seal. I already ripped it. But anyways, um, yeah, I've still been having 4G issues. I kind of triggered it. I was able to get it to work, but I had to like uh, take all this apart, the SIM card reader. So I just took it apart from here. Those two pins, one's the USB for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and the other one is for um, for the 4G connectivity. It's not really labeled. Let me see if I can zoom in. Yeah, nothing's really labeled down there. Maybe underneath this plate, but I don't think I'm gonna take that out. Um, so technically, all those were connected fine. They had, they had me check them multiple times to make sure they were all connected correctly, which they were. Um, but nothing was working, so I decided to finally take it apart. Um, I'm going to desolder this part, um, try to get um, a better look at the layout of the pins. And then I ordered a new SIM tray because I'm thinking this is a problem, but I mean, I'm not 100% sure, but I kind of want to see the pin out layout, see how they have it wired, because obviously it's pinned out to five, even though there's eight pins. I know six of them are being used, but not all eight are being used, but over here there's only five, so I need to figure out what's going on behind that. So I'm going to desolder this right now, and then I, I don't plan to make this a whole follow-through video on how to do it, but I'll snip it. I'll, I'll compile some snippets of, you know, it desoldered and everything, but I mean, that's my issue that I've been having. Here's a shout out to the internals, uh, my Jimmy rig shit. But um, here's the reset button. So, um, also I'm gonna take the chance to, some somebody, it's actually three times that I've been asked uh, that their radio doesn't uh, stay on or doesn't warm boot. It hard boots every time you turn off the car. Um, I couldn't find anything in the settings, so I'm thinking that you probably wired it wrong. So you see how you have your uh, battery 12 volts is yellow. That's your constant, that's always receiving power. And then your red accessory, that is your trigger. So this is what triggers are ready to come on, right? So if you mix those two up, as in you wired the 12 volt to accessory, so it's always getting power, and your accessory to your battery 12 volt, that means every time you turn off your car, your 12 volt constant is losing power, which means the memory is not saving. So it's, I think that's what your problem is, your hard booting. But um, every time you turn off your car. But uh, I just wanted to throw that in there since I have this apart right now. But yeah, it comes with a sticker. I ripped it. I was like, um, let me go ahead and pull this up real quick. I mean, I've been dealing with join. It's just we're not getting anywhere. And I'm tired of waiting. So I'm here to kind of look for my own solution. Uh, let me pull up my emails. I think I have about 40 emails now with them. And <laughs> we still have, haven't gotten anywhere. Uh, -da -da -da. so here we go. We have 43 emails. Now, if you look at those two, my first one in December 2021, today, I asked them if they could provide, um, the update, another update for the joint head unit, because the last one that they gave me to try, uh, it broke my Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, so when I plug it in, it won't, it won't start anymore. So I'm trying to either ask them if they, I could revert back into software to, I mean, backwards into like an earlier date build, or if they're going to send me a new one, because I know the one I had was for April. I think there's one out for, for May now, but I'm waiting for that reply. But if you see right there, I mean, you can see the 41 emails that we had back and forth and, you know, and I'm asking them about warranty and all that stuff. Uh, so yeah, I mean, if eh, I could go through all of these, but We've been messaging back and forth and got in nowhere, so uh, I kind of figured that I could get some, sometimes the 4G to stick around a little bit longer when I clamped the SIM card to this plain thing, so I'm thinking something's wrong with the reader. So I'm just going to take it apart and and see what I, I find behind it, and I'll update you guys, but um, this will be the first part, and I'm probably, you're probably going to see me cut it and then zoom into this probably taken apart already, so... Uh, just hold tight. So we just finished. Didn't call Caban in one piece. I guess I didn't get it heated on the corners. It's a, it's a pretty big area to get everything heated because you got a four corner soldering point. 
you can tell one two three four and then the eight pins so i needed all the eight pins couldn't get it so what i ended up was wedging and starting at that edge then with the pins and then finished out this way but it didn't come out in one piece as you can tell over here there's pieces and i forgot where i left the main the main thing i don't know where i left it it's useless anyways but um so this is the backing of it so if you want to get like a hopefully i didn't damage that trace oh there it is but yeah it came out all fucked up I kind of just wanted to get a layout of the traces back here so I could have a better idea. Maybe I could um, get another one and hardwire it to this terminal and see if that works too. So, I don't know why the fucking iPhone's not focusing, but it has a USB. Let's see, which one's the USB? I'll tell you right now. All right, this one's it. So this one's for the 4G. So it has five pins, as you can tell. Even though a normal SIM card is six pins, this one has eight pins, but obviously two of them are not used. So kind of wanted to see what traces are linked and which ones were not. Oh, cool, I turned off already. Anyway, so... Um, I'm gonna kind of leave it here in case somebody needs to screenshot it someday. Blue. I don't have the steadiest hands either, so bear with me. But um, yeah, that's what the layout looks like. I mean, that's why I wanted to take it out. Uh, I bought a new one, exactly the same. So I'm gonna get some soldering wick. I'm gonna take the wick and clean these out. Let me zoom out a little bit, sorry. And get the wick and uh, clean these out. Um, one, two, three, and four. And then clean those tips. And then I'm going to add new solder and, and solder the new one in. Um, hopefully, I didn't damage anything. You never know. There's like a scratch right there, as you can see. Any break on those traces usually causes an issue, but it doesn't look severe. So. Um, there's that too, but it should still work. I'm gonna try the new, once it gets here, the new um, cover, and then I'll keep you guys updated. Um, the other option is I have a, a older Howie center that I might be able to remove and try hardwiring this to that, but uh, I might just wait. I think that's a better option. I'll just wait for the new sim tray and see that. Update time. Let's see, so I just uh, finished doing continuity tests right now. Just finished lunch, so had some time. So I ended up doing the continuity on, on this to just uh, verify what pins are pinned where. Obviously the traces are are pretty straightforward, so, so they give you some context of some of them where they're linked to, but uh, not all of them are that clearly visible so like especially the second one which is ground which is linked to the bottom one right here so this is your ground right here uh, that is pinned too from top to bottom so obviously that's not noticeable because there's no trace and then number three is reset which is the green obviously no there's no trace but if you look at the back there's a trace for the reset so the trace for that one's in the back but uh, I wanted to give the update and I also wanted to just leave this here. I, I wanted to make a little long video so I could overlay some of the pinouts and what I discovered from from my continuity tests and the research that I've done online, you know. So, I mean, I could just kind of briefly go over it. So your VCC, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit and get this to get captured a little better. But so if you see that from top to bottom, go from top to bottom, that's VCC. So that's like your voltage in. Then your second one is ground. Your third one is reset. So, and then your fourth one 
is uh, VPP, which is something else with voltage. So VPP and VCC are on the same uh, trace track. So they're linked together. Those are the ones that are linked. And that's your red cable. Your pin two is your black cable down here at the bottom, your thick ground cable. That's pin two. And then pin three is your reset, which is your green cable, which is pinned through the back. And then your white cable and your other black cable are pretty straightforward because those are straight traces right there. And your white is clock and your black is um, input output. So that's like your data. So clock and then data. So those are the five pins that you would use out here. So that's how you would wire it. Obviously, I'm going to try to overlay some pictures with like a little crappy sketch of diagram, but hopefully it helps helps you guys. Um, and I might need this to be a little bit longer just to be able to overlay it. But uh, the other issue I was having, I kind of wanted to bring this bill number. This is the latest update that I had that Joey provided to me. Um, excuse the phone, I have my daughter's phone. I ended up <laughs> giving her my iPhone 12 and she gave me her old one. I don't really use iPhone that well. Um, I don't use that iPhone that much. I just use it specifically for work for some thing. So whatever, anyways, I don't need to explain that, but anyways. So this is your uh, your uh, build, the, the latest build that I have from Join. Um, it's giving me the Android Auto connection issues. I was able to do a workaround and get a uh, Apple CarPlay to link wirelessly, but if I were to like right now, then I don't have anything linked, right? So it's trying to link to my uh, Android, which I currently have plugged in. So if you see that, that's my Android. So this is the Android right here and it just loops. It tries, watch it'll try again right now. Boom, it's trying to connect it. It'll pop out like CarPlay's trying, uh, not CarPlay, Android Auto's trying to connect over here and then it'll just stay black screen and they won't. And for Android, I haven't been able to do a workaround for wirelessly getting it to connect, which you usually do with Bluetooth and everything, but I think it needs to establish connection first. And even, actually, I think I, I got it to try to trigger it, but it does the same thing. It just goes to this black screen and it's this started the day i did the update that joey provided to me about three weeks ago so i've been dealing with this for like the past three weeks it's just i work and i don't really have time to be messaging them all the time so uh, i haven't gotten back to them on this issue and uh as, as i said i also have my wi-fi router in here so i just use the data on on that wi-fi router um but you see it's still boop it's just fucking boop, 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 looping on there so uh, let me see i'm recording the video on the iphone but let me see if i could try to maybe get the a apple um, carplay to go but i don't think it's gonna go either where's my cable for this one so here it is let me get this plugged in real quick switch these cables on the fly okay so there's that and now let me plug this in so lightning so I feel my finally be going away from these from what I've been reading. But anyway, so there it is. It's plugged in right now. Um, it's not detecting shit. Nothing. So there it is. Now I kind of switch to the CarPlay screen, but it's doing nothing. Maybe because I'm recording the video. So what you do is like, um, so let me plug in and plug it back in. Uh, and plug it in. Oof. There it is. It detects that it's plugged in because obviously it switches to the CarPlay and then Android Auto again. It does that automatically, but usually when you plug it in immediately, it'll switch. Um, but it's still not doing it. So, yeah, I don't know if it's because I'm recording. But either way, if I wasn't recording, it still wouldn't It wouldn't link it. Um, what I had to do, and let me see if I could get it to work here, is... I'm not because I need to go to the Bluetooth settings. But you go to your Bluetooth settings and then you start looking for the radio and then the C-Link app would pass. Uh, first, you would uh, link to your Bluetooth on the radio. So mine is labeled Sequoia because I'm my Sequoia. So I will link to that and then the C-Link will become available and then you can link to your C-Link and then the wireless Apple CarPlay will, will work. That's like the work through that you have to go through to get it to work. But obviously before it was working, just wire, plugging it in and it would it would wire and detect itself the first time and then it would set up all the wireless links by itself. But now you have to do it manually, which, I mean, you could get it to work, but like I said, my Android Auto is not working, which is my issue. Cause I use my Android more than my Apple uh, iPhone. So um, yeah, I just wanted to share that too. Cause I, I know I touched on it last time that my update broke that 
pretty sure some people are gonna ask like what happened so uh yeah i mean other than that just a trace i wanted to guys give that information just so in case somebody needs it in the future or they break their sim tray or something happens or is no longer reading the sim card then you know you don't have to stress out you could probably hardwire it i'm gonna try hardwiring it so i don't know if it's gonna work or not um i'm thinking this was my issue because uh the last day i, I bought like a like a clothes hanger and i clipped my sim card just to the to the sim tray and it was working for long periods of time but you know i would hit bumps and stuff so it would wiggle and then it would it would become loose and i would lose signal again so i'm thinking it was something with the sim tray holder it wasn't working or maybe one of these these solder so i'm gonna be probably cutting this and and soldering them again just to get new connections on there and um and i'll update you maybe hopefully it'll work and and everything works great so this will be just the first part just wanted to show the diagram and everything so um going forward uh i will be waiting for my trace to come because they're coming from aliexpress and hopefully i'll be able to pin them correctly on here and it works i mean if it does excellent if not I'll, I'll update you guys and let you know if it worked or not so you guys don't go through the hassle of tearing all this up and then for nothing you know so uh yeah i'll see you guys on the next one and this will be part one and uh hopefully i'll have part two out by the end of this week but uh don't count on that because i have kids and shit so <laughs> Usually my plans never go as I plan. It's on um, their schedule, not mine. But I'll keep you guys updated and, and, and be on the lookout. I mean, for me, this is just closure and get the resolution if this is going to work or not. I don't think it's anything internally, but if it is, uh, I'm fucked because I already voided the warranty, as you've seen in the last video, of tearing that sticker up. But um, hopefully this fixes it, and I'm counting on that. So we'll see.